what it do cosmic crew like comment and subscribe if you're new without further ado i got another video for you so my next scorpio will be brother love as he is now currently known of course tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only so let's keep that in mind as we move forward okay um uh p diddy he, of course he is a mogul in his own right a leader in the music industry a fundamental part of so many people's success um and we just want to just get some clarification as we move through the reading on things that have happened as far as he is concerned okay so, my first question was diddy you've been in this industry for so long you know it in and out so from your perspective is it true that there are ritualistic occult practices done in the music industry? Of course, just for our own entertainment purposes. And he was like, yes. And immediately what this card is giving me is eyes wide shut. Okay? It is real. There is so much killing and bondage and, and torture and just things happening behind the mask it's like day and night it's totally different things that happen behind the scenes it's dark and it's twisted you see how she's butt naked okay my next question of course for our own entertainment purposes right diddy is it true that there are sacrifices made in the music industry like what we have here is the High Priestess and the Two of Pentacles reversed, which I further clarified, and I got love and never. So what I'm getting is that um, what they do is pinpoint what you love, what they know how to get you, they know how to draw you in, they, they'll set you a woman that hides behind it all. Because, you know, there's big male names that will shout out, but there's a woman that sits upon high. And regulates all of this, okay? And yes, you give up everything you love, but never, okay? It never is enough. It never satisfies you. You think that it is worth it, okay? But you will always be juggling to maintain your image, your lifestyle, your brand, your, um, your facade, And back to this high priestess, it's the knowing of what you've done. And that's why people end up broke. That's why people end up crazy. Because they can't live with what they've done. For the love of money. Okay, so my next question is... Is it true that there are homosexual rituals performed in the music industry? So Diddy answered for our own entertainment purposes. And he's saying yes. Um, and it really does destroy homes and it destroys families. Um, and actually there is a lot of people who cannot live in their truth. They, would, they are homosexual or they're bisexual and they cannot live as such because of society. So that um, they're... Once again, there's lots of undercover behaviors that are done. Lots of down low. Um, I've said it before. There's lots of transsexual. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So this is something that is that is longevity. It has longevity in it. This is nothing new. This is nothing. This is foundational at its best. This is how the industry is performed. You see how? Um, okay, Ten of Pentacles. You see what we see here with the house and the home. That's for the money. But what's for the heart, for the Ten of Cups, okay? That's that Eddie Winslow. Okay, so my next question. Um, of course, there have been so many rumors throughout the years about Diddy's sexuality. So I just said straight up, you know, we've seen with plenty of women. You have children, but are you bisexual? And I got the Daughter of Swords reversed, and I'm like, it feels like he's saying no. I'm gay. Like, <laughs> No, I'm not bisexual. I am gay. So, for our entertainment purposes, I asked, <laughs> I asked just specifically, Diddy, are you gay? And I got the 
Ace of Swords. Like, yes, that's it. And he would love to live in his truth. I'm, I'm telling you, like, there's going to come a time where Diddy is going to finally just be himself. And I can definitely see it with this whole love movement because that's his message. That love is love. Okay? It doesn't matter your race, your religion, your sexuality. Love is love, right? Brother, love. So I asked Diddy, what is your involvement, if any, for our own entertainment purposes in the death of Tupac? And I really don't see much on his part, but he is saying there is a woman that infiltrated that situation and is the result in his demise. This was about a woman. Um... In his own ego. It was really just bad timing. As far as their beef. But that had nothing to do with him. That was his own. His own. Label. Involvement. And I believe. Because I got willpower. I got concerned. And I got save a hoe. So I would honestly believe that Diddy tried to get Tupac out of his label, but Tupac was involved with a woman that had ties to his current management. So I asked straight up, Diddy, who was behind the death of Tupac's murder, you know, for entertainment purposes? And what he's saying is this shit was in-house. Okay, this was this was this was his own people for entertainment purposes, baby. Um, I asked, what was your involvement, if any, in the death of a Biggie Smiles, Christopher Wallace? Okay, I got six of swords in reverse, the justice card, and the six of wands. All right, I clarified that I got innovator, I got pregnant, and I got water. So what this is giving me is Diddy always planned this this was the purpose this was his intention um when biggie went up the road they had already set this plan up he was going it was always meant for him to be one and done okay one and done that was always the plan he was gonna leave out on top okay that was always the plan Okay, so I asked Diddy, what was your relationship like with Mace? Like, what happened with Mace? So I got the two of wands, I got the empress, I got the will of fortune in reversed. So, of course, things started off amazingly. They were a great dynamic duo. Um, just took the world by storm. But apparently, either somebody was fucking on somebody's baby mama, there was definitely... Something about a woman that came up or even just Mace wanting to settle down and have a family himself or even just not getting credit for projects, the things that he was giving birth to. Okay, and then we had the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And basically, when he betrayed Diddy, because, you know, when you betray a Scorpio, it's for life, right? So they're going to turn your world upside down. He fucked his head up. I got the mental health card. He made him run back to Jesus. Okay? He sent his demons on him. No cap. And I really feel like it had to do with a woman. Okay, so I asked about Diddy and his relationship with Jay-Z, Sean Carter. Um, I got the world. I got the eight of cups in reverse. And I got the chariot in reverse as well. So this one I had to kind of clarify. Just kind of see what he was really trying to say. But it seems like... <sighs> okay, so of course things started off amazing. They were front line, front center, just globalized, just making money, getting to the bag. The world was in the palm of their hands. Um, but things behind closed doors. That's where things got a little a little fishy. And it's something about Jay-Z that kind of wasn't into things that Diddy wanted to pursue with him and so it left him a little emotionally scarred you know he told him never and i was like okay well were y'all fucking like what, what was the what was the intimacy level of this relationship i got the son of cups in reverse okay so i would say that diddy definitely offered to 
have an intimate relationship with Jay-Z. But, you know, like, there's some lines that Jay-Z won't cross, apparently, are did it just not his type i don't know i haven't looked that far into it but at this point any of their relations are just technical it's all technicalities you know they run in the same circle so it's not like they're enemies but their personal relationship has definitely come to a cease but i will also say like there's no love lost like he can congratulates him as a businessman like he does say that jay-z has the mightiest touch like he he puts this man on a pedestal. He is in awe of him. But he wouldn't let him, you know. Have, so I asked Diddy, why does it seem like a lot of artists have discrepancies when it comes to getting paid? You know, there's been so many people that you work with that kind of, you know, either fell off or, you know, what's up with that? You know, for our own entertainment purposes. And I got the world... I got Goddess of Pentacles, and I got the Supreme. So what I'm feeling like Diddy is saying is that, you know, he gives you the fundamentals to make yourself successful. He will put you on the path of righteousness to become whatever you want to be. He gives you the tools. He gives you the money. He gives you the the um, the um publicity. He gives you the studio. He gives you the, the, the um... The producers, he gives you the DJs, he gives you he gives you whatever you need. He helps craft your universe. Now, if he this is Diddy, this is his opinion. He says if you don't take all that he's given and make something of it, do not blame me. Um, I have I have given you the tools necessary to be prosperous. You have touched hands with the most exquisite and exceptional people in this industry if you can't if you can't be in those rooms and take the knowledge and take the wisdom that's passed down to you just by being in the vicinity of these these people that have been you see how he going off about this shit did he feel some kind of way did he feel some kind of way about you hoes? <laughs> you dead Denny the cane ass hoes. Okay, if you can't use the tools that I've given you, all that I've given you, I've painted this future for you, I've set you up in a position, and if you fall off, if you get caught up in your own wants and needs, and you get caught up in the money, you forget why you were really here, you forget the craft, you forget the music, okay? You forget why you were really here, you get caught up in the money, you get caught up in the, in the lifestyle. And you forgot the vision. You forgot the vision. So don't blame it on me. Okay, so I asked for entertainment purposes. Okay, what is your relationship with Usher? Oh, I got the Six of Swords. I got the Three of Cups in reverse. And I got the Ten of Cups in reverse. Like, this relationship is... I don't know, there's something about Diddy that is very possessive. He's very jealous. He keeps his eye on Usher. And he doesn't really appreciate him being with anybody else. Um, and I would say, you know, if, if I was going to say it, of course, for entertainment purposes, that, you know, there there's definitely an intimate relationship between them that is being held secretly. It's on the down low. Like, literally. Diddy is absolutely in love with usher he is everything he could ever dream of he has coddled him from a child okay um and the things that usher has seen are inexplainable indescribable just downright disgusting um the parties that he's attended <sighs> i mean yeah so i asked are you gonna do a versus with jermaine dupree i could definitely see it but Diddy already feels like he won. Like, there's no need for any competition. There is no competition. Um, he is the originator, the the overseer. He reigns supreme. So, he doesn't even see why Jermaine Dupri's name is being held in the same arguments with his. But, if the money is right. What advice do you have for any young artist? From an executive's perspective, what do you have for advice for any young artist wanting to get into the industry, I got the six of wands reversed. So, of course, I was like, you know, there's going to be a lot of competition. You know, you have to to um, know you're the best. You have to believe in yourself. You have to be able to face any opposition. But I also got all these wands. So, it's like, you got to be ready to get fucked any kind of way. Okay, dicks coming at you from left to right. 
And I was like, Diddy, what do you mean? Am, am, I just, am, I just, am I just tripping? So I further clarified. And I got womanizer. Okay? Yes. They gonna fuck you till you can't sit down. Okay? You see how she's covering her one eye? This shit is real. Okay?